He's a big, big boy. Big boy. Righty, yeah, we're into it. And I'm back. Said I was gonna keep doing this, and that was 12 months ago, and I've hardly done a thing since. You know, you can't make fishing videos without catching fish. And I have struggled, I tell you. I come to the point where I'm almost gonna give this shit up, was what was on my mind, because I just couldn't do it. The technology and me just was not working. I've got this video I'm about to show you right here. Livescape fuckery or something I called it. I've got thousands of videos like that that I've deleted. Made them, had a whinge, pissed them off, and next day did it all again and went to work trying to catch yellows. Failed. Uh, Eildon failed on cod. Um, Mulwhaler caught me first one in Mulwhaler. Little Mulwhaler cod on the Bloody some sort of plastic from Tackle World, cast plastic. He looked a bit bigger on the screen. I've been struggling with this scope shit. I have been struggling. Just searched and searched and searched and one day it clicked. It clicked on this particular fish here. Run it through the timber and there he was. And he nailed it. Stay on, buddy. Now, I've been, as you know, struggling. Really struggling. I've been everywhere. I've come to the conclusion that the only way I'm going to find fish is to set that thing up so I can look at every single twig and pretty much blind cast into them, and then turn the scope on and see what's going. It's just a one ounce scope bait with a half ounce chin weight, one single hook. Because what I've been doing is just casting into the snags, seeing if something will pop out of them. Because I can hardly find a fish up here. And there was one. And I'm going to get him back. Get him back in real quick. Ten minutes later, this is after months, I'll tell you, months of followers and frustration and thinking about giving it up. From there, got a photo, let the other one go, and this one. Both these fish were 94 centimeters, like they were pigeon pair. Sitting there, why I had him in the net, there's another fish out there looking. I was just about to cast to him, I said to myself, don't be greedy, it's not about bulk fish. Come on. Nice. This is the shit we're talking about. This is the shit we're talking about. This is what's supposed to be happening. Here's another one. You're fucking joking me. <laughs> fair to do another nice one on the that's awesome on the scope bait and target rod that time he's got to go back he's at his time venom target and the bass man um, cod jig that time it's about it's about catching fish don't get me wrong I go fishing to catch fish but 
It's not about bulk fish to me, it's about learning really. And this is the single greatest learning tool you can get. And learning, when I say it's not about bulk fish, I've been throwing um, Aussie crawler over every single fish that's under four meters, trying to get a reaction. I've had a few come up. I've actually caught a couple on it. Um, I've missed a couple. That's just the inherently how surfers lures go. And just to be able to watch what they do is amazing. Really is. Solid 89 on the Aussie crawler. One thing I've learned there in no hurry. Absolutely yes. no hurry to do anything these cod. Even the surface fish, there's no rushing to the surface to smash it. They just take their time, get in front, set themselves up, and then they go for it. This is the most amazing bit of technology. Yes. Back in 2007, when I bought my boat, this current boat motor, the guy said, we just want a sound where we can see fish. Well, we got that with side imaging, um, with the mega side imaging, we can see fish off the bottom. We could see them in the snags, sort of. If you had your settings right, you see their shadows, you can see fish, no worries. Then we've moved to the live technology and you can see fish. I've learnt so much from the Garmin that I will probably start spilling my guts at some stage soon. For the meantime, I'll just tell you I am searching and I'll find a little pot of fish and you'll go back next, next time and they are not there. What the Garmin is telling me though, you can see fish cruising up the middle of the river, going somewhere and it'll tell you whether you should be trawling fishing deep in the snags or whether they're out and about and they're up high. Uh, they all seem to be, if they're off the snags, they all seem to be feeding. Even if they're on the bottom, mid-water or up near the top, they all seem to be looking for a feed. When they're tucked into the snags, some days they'll just sit there and do nothing. Other days they'll come out and have a sniff of your lure. Sometimes they even grab it. I've watched them come out, have a sniff, turn around, and go back into the snag. It's just amazing. It's actually the most amazing bit of gear going. It is expensive, but I own my boat, I own my motor, and the only thing I've upgraded since 2007 in that is my sounder technology. And I'm, this one here is an absolute game changer. Uh, for better or worse, I don't know, but I can, can tell you it can be the most frustrating game changer going and it can be the most rewarding game changer going. Don't get me wrong, a lot of these fish I've caught would not be caught without this technology because I wouldn't even be fishing where I'm fishing. I can say that sometimes you're blind casting and when you have a donut day, there's a pretty good chance there is no fish there. I've gone sometimes four or five Ks four or five kilometers without seeing a single fish, night time or daytime. Um, hitting the snags hard with something, like I said, the scope bait or the um, Aussie crawler, hitting the snags hard, trying to get some sort of reaction and there's just nothing there. So that's what this technology tells you. Anyway, I'll try and stitch something short together because I'm rambling on and hit the like and subscribe if you want, only if you want to, and leave a comment only if you want to. Righty, I have to be back soon, cheers.